Hey guys, what's up? So today we are going to extract starch from potatoes and to do that we will require a glass, hot water or warm water, anything is fine, a strainer, a grater, two glass bowls like, like they look like this and few potatoes. Then the first thing we need to do is grate the potatoes and make sure that the potatoes are peeled. After peeling them, you can grate them inside the inside a steel plate so that you because doing it directly inside the glass dish won't make it good. So take your potatoes, take your grater and start grating them. So guys, all of our potatoes are peeled now. As you can see, it took me quite a long time to grate them all. I mean, why did I say peeled earlier? I mean grate. All these four potatoes have been grated. Now what will we do is add them to th one of the dishes. I mean the glass plates. I'll keep the strain on the top of the glass and add off them. Some of them, like most of them, uh, will slowly turn red because the cells have been torn apart now. The potato cells are open and uh, will react with the air to create this pinkish reddish color on their, you know, they turn into that color. Okay. And now, we have to add the hot water or the warm water in the potatoes. Nicely mix them together. I'll just show you what am I doing. This is the warm water and the potato grated I and mean the grated potatoes inside the water. You have to mix it like churn it up. Squeeze it if you can. We, so what are we doing is now, we are extracting all the starch by pressing them, mixing it around with the water. The starch is like raised, released from the cells now. And it's going inside the water. I mean. My hands are paining because of grating for such a long time. <sighs> so guys instead of just using potatoes if you want you if you don't have like potatoes you can use any other like food item which has which is like rich in starch so guys after like churning churning it up very good like doing it thoroughly add like pour the water in the other glass dish so this is the water filled with starch what i am going to do is give it one more wash to make sure that there is zero amount of starch left in the potato great okay, guys potato. our second dish is completely full uh, with the starch water because i have washed it a lot of times the grated potatoes and now we have to strain because some of the grated potatoes are still inside the water so give it a mix quickly because the starch is insoluble in water and it will settle down on the bottom so to prevent from losing any starch just like mix it around and now you have to pour it in the glass so guys now our, st our starch extraction process is complete and now we have to wait for a few hours until the starch settle down, uh, settle down in the, settles down at the bottom. So till then, uh, bye. So guys, now as you can see, the starch has settled down at the bottom of the glass. So the water at the top contains little to no water. So there's, it contains about zero percent of water. Now we will like put this extra water and uh, water inside another, another container because we don't need the water ok 
Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. So guys, I have uh, removed the starch from the cups using a spoon and this is what I got. So now again I have to wait for some time until all the water has been removed or like pulled away by the water. So it will take a few more hours and of course you can uh, use a tissue paper instead of a paper or even both together. So guys after it dries our starch will be ready. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.